Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nairi and on here we talk about fragrance layering, fragrance uh, combos, uh, new fragrances that you have introduced uh, me to or even some fragrances I would like to introduce you to. And if you enjoyed this video, all I ask is that you do subscribe and join the uh, family. I lovingly call this uh the my subscribers my Claudia's crew uh so i am super excited that you are here uh and if you are one of my returning subscribers who come back each and every time i do a video hello welcome this video is going to be about my april uh tray what fragrances am i going to pull out for april we had such an amazing March. Uh, so I'm hoping that my April does the same thing. But before we get uh, deep into this video, I have some good news. So stay tuned. Out to what I call the Claudia's crew. We have hit 10K on YouTube. And I cannot begin to tell you how thankful I am for each and every one of you. So my way of showing you how much I appreciate you is I'm going to start to do giveaways within my videos. So if you have not subscribed yet, this is your chance. Go ahead and subscribe. Randomly throughout the month, I'm going to pop up a giveaway in the middle of my videos. And all you have to do is sign in to uh my giveaway form if and, and that way i would have your address your information i'll give you a task i don't know maybe post an emoji or something uh and then i'll pick someone i it'll be up for two weeks and then i'll pick someone to send out some fragrances to again this is really quick i just wanted to say thank you thank you thank you we have made it to 10k i hope you are as excited as i am yes we have it 10k oh my god thank you thank you thank you uh it uh the giveaway won't be in this video uh but it will be in my coming videos to come up so i give myself a round of applause i give you all a round of applause uh for just being here with me for inspiring me to keep going and to make it to this milestone but let's get into the april tray so what is going to be on my tray? This is not going to be in any kind of order. Uh, I picked some that were either rosy or something floral, right? Uh, so my very first one that's going to be on my tray is going to be Pup uh, Purpura by Tatiana Terenzi. And hopefully you can see it. Um, so this is going to be on my tray. This to me is... Baccarat 540 on steroids. It is so much better. It is so more woody and, and uh, oh, I love it. I love this one. So uh, it is it's so classy and um, gorgeous. Papora by Tatiana Terenzi. Now for a more um, kind of gourmand because i can't have a tray and don't have gourmand on the tray i'm gonna go with nashville by city rhythms nashville by city rhythms is oh it's like your it's it's a it's a um kind of boozy sweet caramelly deliciousness it is he has so many. He has so many. And I'm going to redo my video on City Rhythm so we can talk about his whole line. But for this one in particular, we're going to have uh, Nashville. It's going to be on my April tray. Uh, I wanted to go with some Mancera. So I wanted to make sure I had a Mancera on my tray. So I decided to go with Juicy Flower. So Juicy Flower is, oh God, Juicy Flower is just that. It's floral, but it's almost like a candy floral, like a sweet, delicious, gorgeous floral. Um, I can't think of all the notes and I'm probably going to end up posting the notes on the side so that you can see the notes of each one of the ones that I'm going to have on the tray. 
Uh, another one that I could not wait to add back to my tray is going to be High Tie by um, Atar. If you want to try out an Atar fragrances, I believe that this one is a good one to start off with. Uh, this is really good. This one is really, really good. Um, it's not offensive. It's, it's, oh, I, I have to spray this one on. Oh, it's just delicious. <laughs> it's absolutely delicious. I love this one. So this, of course, is going to be on my tray. Um, and I cannot wait to figure out how I'm going to layer this one. Uh, if I'm going to wear it by itself, you know, it is one that I often do enjoy wearing by myself. This is a new, uh, these two here, my next two are newer ones that I got. And I have not actually got a full wear to them yet, but I cannot wait to try them out. Birth of Venus is one of the newer ones that I've gotten. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait to wear this one. Uh, I tried it when I first got it. Um, and actually, it came as a recommendation from uh, the Amanda Marie on here. Gorgeous. She was she was not telling a lie. That one is absolutely amazing. Another one that I just got is the, the Divonet. Uh, this one here is like, a, it's berries and dates and... Oh, I just cannot wait. I am enjoying this. If you have been enjoying me doing these videos, uh, I have. I have been truly enjoying it. But I'm going to wear a uh, Divinet uh, or Divinet. Divinet, I think it's called. Um, so that's going to go on my tray. I am going to have two perfume damales. My first one is going to be Kasili. So if you have not heard about Kasili, Kasili is, it's like a, it's a, it's beautiful. It's the fruity version of the perfume de Miley's, right? Um, I don't know. I want to say both of the ones that I got are, are the, are very fruity floral, right? So Kasili is going to be on the tray along with Orion. Now, this one here, I've heard some uh, good and bad points about Oriana. Uh, and they say that it's very similar to other fragrances, right? But I still say that if you get it in your collection, it's beautiful. It's almost like a bubblegummy, delicious, uh, sweet floral. It's um, It does have some rose in it, but it has like this candiness to it. Um, it's a great combo. And it was greatly, it was beautifully done. So I truly, myself, I truly like Oriana. So of course that's going to make it to my tray. Um, let's see me move these a little bit closer. I did, I do have one, uh, which is my go-to. And it is Idola by Novitus. And again, this is old packaging. So I'm pretty sure that this one now probably has... <laughs> Uh, a different uh, package and I dropped it. So if you're trying to figure out why is it chipped? Uh, I dropped it and almost died. Oh my God, I almost died. But this is such a gorgeous, if you like Delena, kind of on the same level of Delena, uh, not exactly. So if you have Delena in your collection, I do feel you can still get um Idola too and, and and truly enjoy it. Uh it's but it's almost it it does have a bit of Delina-ness to it, right? There is some kind of Delina, but so you would think that I had Delina on my tray in March, so why would I go for another one that's on the same level? Because this one is a little bit different for me. So I'm looking forward to wearing this one. Um I had to pull out C, C the original, so I do not have Intense. I'm not pulling out uh, any of the other flankers of C. This is the original C. This is sexiness in a bottle. And as you see, I've been working my way through this bottle. And for me to have a level of a dent like this in it, that tells you I really enjoy C. I truly enjoy C. So this is going to make it to uh, the shelf.
and for a I always try to find something for like my night right if i go out and i have a couple of things to go to in april so i'm looking forward to doing uh to going out but i'm wanting to wear ombre nuit nuit now i've heard people say that this does lean masculine on their skin for me it doesn't lean masculine on my skin i just really think that it's an oh it's a super super sexy fragrance it's a gorgeous sexy fragrance gorgeous gorgeous and then for another night on the town i have um body out oud amethyst which is latafa's take on atomic rose and if you have watched any of my videos and i'll make sure that i do link it at the top i did a comparison between amethyst and affinity rose and i believe that amethyst was the winner when you're looking for something similar to atomic rose um i love this one it has such a longevity and body to it latafa the latafa did it with this one so this amethyst is one that you have to really like strong scents because this one does come off a bit strong on your thing it's not a it's not one of those double spray heavy spray type ones right this is one maybe one or two three might be pushing it but gorgeous nevertheless so this is my april's tray so as you see i have a total of 12 if i'm not mistaken fragrances that i am so looking forward to wearing so i would love to know is what are you wearing in april uh is there anything in particular you've been waiting to this time it's a little cool kind of rainy here in texas so uh hopefully these fragrances would be an amazing uh addition i love doing this with you and to everyone who's followed me they know that at the end of the month i like to come back and tell you what did i compare them with what did i layer them with did i layer them Again, this is another month where I don't have a fragrance that I'm kind of on the fence with. You might be able to say Idola might be one because uh, it does have some similarities to a lot of the fragrances that I have. But I still like Idola. So um, if I end up saying Idola is not one that's going to make it back to the show, my mom really likes that one. So she'll be the one to get it. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you are subscribed. Remember, subscribe, join the family. Make sure you thumbs up these videos. Uh, leave me a comment. It lets YouTube know that you do like what I am producing. And as I see and my page is growing, that you do like what I'm putting out. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And on that note, I'll talk to you soon.